Hi everyone, I'm Marilyn Flair from Monash University Australia. In my view, the central design principle for creativity is actually play. I take a cultural historical view of play that was first developed by Vygotsky a very long time ago. And in that cultural historical reading of play, children create an imaginary situation, sometimes children and adults together create imaginary situations, and in those imaginary situations, children take objects um, and actions and change their meaning, giving them a whole new sense. Vygotsky uh, gave the example of two children taking a stick, and I've got a, a rather different kind of stick here, and um, put it between their legs and started to jump around as though it was a horse. And so he argued that children take an object such as a stick and change its meaning. They give it a new sense. In the example that follows, I'm giving um, a slow motion of, uh, made by a group of three-year-old children. Some of them were just, just turning four. And in that example, um, the children are, have made a slow motion of a fairy tale, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You'll see in what follows, in the short extract of the slow motion that they made, that they use Lego bricks. Um, and change the meaning of those Lego bricks to become porridge. So they're um, actually the porridge in the bowl. And you'll also see that the children bring to um, this particular imaginary situation their own life experiences of making porridge, which of course is not necessarily on a stove with a wooden spoon stirring it, as is often depicted in picture books, but actually um, we'll see that they bring to it um, uh, the notion of a microwave oven. So now let's have a look at what a little bit of what they created. So digital tools um, used in this way um, provide the context in which children can think more consciously about what they're doing because they have to imagine the actual storyline that they're producing through the slow motion at the same time as keeping in mind the audience that's watching them. So it's kind of like a double positioning that they take. And in the double positioning, this creates the possibilities for bringing to their thinking and to their play new ideas. So therefore a very creative approach. 